We woke up to an explosion of some sort. There's no power and there's no internet or data on the phone, so we don't really know what's going on, but it's a pretty loud explosion and it kind of shook the walls and woke us all up. Warsaw, Poland. That's where I am today because I'm hopping on an airplane. I'm flying to Moldova and then I'm gonna sneak across the border into Ukraine. Here's the plan. I'm gonna buy a motorcycle in Ukraine and do a ride in Ukraine. I know it's dangerous. I understand the consequences. I know what's happening over there. We have friends there on the ground um, that we're gonna connect with and we're gonna do some special things for them, try to encourage them and try to uh, love lots of people. And at the end of this trip, I'm gonna give away the motorcycle to someone in need. Are you ready to experience adventure? Let's ride. Waking up to the news that Russian missiles hit Poland today. That is a very old jet. Yeah, they sure don't want to send new, newer jets to uh, Eastern Europe, like close to Ukraine. Some of the stuff is uh, is spelled wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I made it to Moldova and I'm meeting up with some friends and we're getting picked up by someone. They're gonna take us across the border. I think we're uh, trying to find a restaurant. So these are my, these are my friends. This oh, yes. is Karin yes, and uh, John, who's driving us today. And then uh, <laughs> Sasha, our other bodyguard, Sasha. <laughs> oh yeah, so, so these guys are tasked <laughs> with <laughs> driving me <laughs> into Ukraine all the way to a place called Odessa, which is on the <laughs> southern part of Ukraine <laughs> along the Black Sea. It's on the water, beautiful place. I've been there one time and always wanted to go back. But I wanted to go back when there's not a full-blown war happening, but uh, whatever it takes, right? So we're headed there now, and uh, but first, but first, some lunch in Moldova. Okay, the main course is a stuffed bell pepper kind of thing. Check it out. And then there's this tea, and there's a. Um, Oranges and a bunch of things that we don't have English words for. These hurt. <laughs> so we are, obviously we're driving at night to get across the border here in Ukraine. I do know that they've had power issues where the power's been out because of the recent missiles here. So a lot of power grid has gone down, but we are gonna hopefully have a smooth sail right through the border. It's 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 night, so uh, maybe not a lot of traffic, but uh, all right, we're approaching now. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the lights and cut the camera off. So we th we're through, we're on the Ukraine side? We're in Ukraine, welcome to Ukraine. Yay! Yes. Welcome to Ukraine, my brother. Awesome. Time. Okay, we made it through the border, no problem. It was about what, an hour maybe, about an hour, and we got through. No problems, we're in Ukraine. It's raining, it's completely dark, and uh, now we have about another hour before we get to Odessa, which is where we're gonna sleep for the night.
The traffic is pretty crazy. There's lots of trucks. They're telling me that the only way into Odessa is this one road. This is the only way in, so all the goods have to come through here. Okay, we are in the city of Odessa and there's no lights. It's a, it's a blackout on the city, so there's no power here. So this is a big city. Colin, how many people are in this city? How many people live Over here? Over a million. Over a million people live in this city, but it's, I didn't even know I was in the city. It was, it's completely dark. I had no idea. They were like, oh, by the way, you're in Odessa. I'm like, where? So, welcome to Ukraine. We found one restaurant that has a generator, and so uh, looks like we're meeting. I don't know what's going on because uh, I don't speak Russian. I don't know what's happening. Gosh, this light's so bright. I have to turn it off, sorry. Just so I can see where I'm walking. We're running out of here fast because apparently there's a curfew and I'm about to be late for curfew and I'm gonna get in real trouble, so they are dragging me out of this restaurant. I was actually having some good conversations and hearing some interesting things that are happening with some guys that are supplying what's called toys for the boys, which means military supplies for those on the front line. So we were up there hanging out at the Irish pub, hearing stories, but um, I got rushed out of there because curfew. So uh, awesome, having fun. <laughs> We woke up to an explosion of some sort. There's no power and there's no internet or data on the phone, so we don't really know what's going on, but it's a pretty loud explosion and it kind of shook the walls and woke us all up. It was about six o'clock this morning and the um, all the car alarms went off in the parking lot, but uh, so we don't really know what's going on, but um, we're just still chilling here in the apartment until uh, until it's time to go. When we got here, power was on for a few minutes and then it was gone. Haven't had power since. And so now we're headed to breakfast and uh, we're gonna, after that, try to go find someone that will sell us a motorcycle. Well, when the city has no power, there's also no, there's also no red lights, traffic signals. And so you get this. These folks got T-boned here at this intersection. Made it to this little motorcycle shop. There's no power, so the lights are out, but they're open. Yeah, this will be great. But uh, <laughs> I just don't know which one to get. I'm kind of interested in this Honda right here. It's a, I think it's a Honda Shadow 750. It looks like it anyway. I'm kind of interested in this Suzuki over here though. Uh, this bike was fixed. They fixed it. But the guy, the owner, in the army now. Okay. He said, I can, I can call and find out if he is inter if he interested to sell. Yeah. So. Yeah, call and find out. I don't know which bike to get. They're both about the same price. I've had a Honda. I liked it. Uh, I've never had this particular Suzuki. The uh, windshield here, I do like. This one does not have one, so it's gonna be a little colder. Which bike should I get? Yeah, keep the camera on, it's rolling. It's, it's off. It's rolling. Oh, it's, it's rolling. rolling. Oh, okay. I test rode the Honda, I'm not feeling it. It feels, it feels like it's been really custom, like, worked but I'm not comfortable with, I don't know what they've done, but it doesn't feel very, it doesn't feel right. I like this one better. Yeah. I'm about to make this deal on this Suzuki right here. <sighs> Hope I'm making the right choice. I want to, as you know, these guys don't know, but the secret is, 
The secret is I'm buying the bike and I'm going to give it to somebody. I don't know who I'm giving it to yet, but I'm going to give it to someone who needs it. The way I understand right now is the person who owns the bike had it in the shop to have it, have it repaired and then he got called in to go fight in the war. And they just contacted him out on the field and he says he's willing to sell it. I think it would help him out, help his family out. So we're going to purchase the bike today. These people are super cool. The uh, this shop owner here just gave my friend uh, a helmet just as a, just as a gift. Yes. Yes. Maybe it was a finder's fee. I don't know. <laughs> For bringing me over here. I don't know. But uh, I gave him a helmet, which is kind of kind of cool. He's pretty excited about that. So, all right, next, I'm going to get the bike kind of ready. I'm going to put my cameras on it, my tank bag. Hopefully it fits. And I'm going to fuel it up and should be ready to go. Okay. I follow him, you follow me. Yeah. All right, he told me to be super careful with this back tire. It's brand new. It's been kind of raining a little bit, so i got to be super careful on the wet and brand new tire. Bike feels good. Brake lever, the front brake lever is a little bit odd. It's been chopped off. It's in a weird position. I just have to kind of hunt for it. If I pull here, it doesn't want to engage. I have to kind of get out here. I may have to use two fingers. That's all right, we'll make it work. have to be careful because with the red lights being inoperable many of them are not working so it's kind of like people don't see that there's a, a intersection so I have to kind of be careful this red lights working on this part of town maybe there's some power they explained it to me they said in some parts of town some of the critical needs are being met like some of the electric buses and some of the red lights and a few other things but none of the businesses or the residents like these apartments none of them have power most of the billboards you see are like military billboards pro-military like all three that i'm looking at right here are all like military billboards <laughs> There's no light here, so they just decided they're all going to go. <laughs> They've probably been stuck there waiting. Nobody let them go for a while. My turn. I got to fill up. man <laughs> stand in line to get fuel over here uh liters i don't know maybe four six I don't know what that means. In English, por favor. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, I don't know the system, but somehow, I just got moved to the front of the line and there's no one here, so. Uh, credit card or no? No, 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 no. only cash. Cash, yeah, cash. Yes, cash. You, I have American cash. I have thousand greenies. That sounds like a lot. 30 bucks. Okay. 25 bucks. Okay. 
<laughs> Z walks in and uh, clears a path for me. Yeah. <laughs> this is not normal. No. Well, two months ago it wasn't like that. I don't know why all the gas stations don't have generators. <laughs> so much happening here, and I don't understand what's going on. I just couldn't understand what they're saying, so I'm just trying to predict what they're telling me to do. <laughs> Is this okay? I like it. Yes. I like it a lot. Yeah. It's a great bike. You like it? Yeah. Good choice? Uh, maybe uh, uh, later. Ah. <laughs> Okay, so it turns out that there were 16 missiles fired from Russia to Odessa, which is where we are. And uh, I guess the one that we heard um, was one that, that took out the uh, power grid here. So, um, yeah, uh, we have not had power all day and I am currently using a candle which is giving me light and uh, wrapping it up for the end of the day uh, I'm gonna hop in the bed in the morning get up it's gonna be a cold one but tomorrow I'm gonna ride to a place uh, a little village and uh, uh, have some special plan there so good night So we've been staying at Karn's apartment. He hasn't been here since he evacuated the war about an hour after the first bombs hit. Him and his family were here and could hear the bombs start to hit. And I was on the phone with him saying, get out now. Well, they were already packing up and making a run for the border. And so we came back here to stay at his apartment. Karin's an old friend of mine. And then he's got some other friends that are assisting in today delivering some gifts to kids, some chocolates to moms that are basically uh, by themselves while their men are off at war. And these are people that have left their homes and uh, to seek refuge and they are scattered in different places as refugees in their own country. Look at the traffic coming in. As far as you can see, there's trucks and a few cars scattered, but just as far as you can see. So there's only one way in because the Russian military has bombed up the bridges. All the bridges are gone except for one. And the one bridge left, this is the road. So all the goods are on these trucks. That's the only way to get them in. The sea is no good because it's blocked by the Russian army. It has to come in on these semi trucks and come right through here. So that's why it is so much traffic and uh, it's a pretty serious situation. Pretty difficult for these people to, to get, you know, pretty much everything they need. Okay, we had to go through a checkpoint. I had to turn the cameras off because they're not happy about cameras here. I went through the checkpoint, no problem. There were guys lined with AK-47s on both sides. There were like trucks barricaded in, camouflaged over like everything. So there was like a chicane in the road, maybe two of them actually, that you had to go through and it narrowed everybody down and you had to go through these concrete barriers. And they were just watching and they're looking for bad guys. So let's ride. Oh, 
Okay, I've had enough. I have to pull over and warm up because I am freezing. I cannot feel two of my fingers. I don't know if they're still there. They may have fallen off. Uh, they're probably still in the glove, but I only need eight fingers, I guess. It's cold. Yeah. <laughs> Sergey gave me another pair of gloves to wear under these. I don't know. Maybe it'll work. What was that? A pit bull? <laughs> I didn't see him coming. <laughs> oh, man. I was looking the other way. I had no idea that dog was over here about to bite my ankle. Yeah, we got a special parking place for me, huh? Yeah. yeah. I got the best bodyguards in Ukraine. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, bro, okay? They're just pointing out that this is the bomb shelter right here. And we're gonna feed refugees, but I'm also gonna do, I'm gonna do a magic show. <laughs> Я сначала использую свои руки. Hello, everybody. Всем привет. Привет. My name is Brock. I'm from the United States. Меня зовут Брок. Я приехал из Соединенных Штатов. Uh, I would like to show you something. Я хочу вам кое-что показать. Are you want to see it? Вы хотите увидеть кое пару номеров? Да. Готовы? Да. Would you like to pick a card? Можно тебя попросить? Как тебя зовут? Тимур? Тимур, выбери одну карту любую. Yeah, just take one. Возьми любую карту. Great. Show it to everyone. Покажи всем. Что это? Валет. Валет крестовый. And remember it. И запомни ее. You got it? Запомнил? You got it? Вы yeah. запомнили? Да. Yeah. Put the card down. Теперь положи ее туда в колоду. Now watch what happens to his card. И посмотрите, что произойдет с этой картой. From a blue deck. Вот из этой, uh, видите, голубая такая, uh, как это, задняя сторона. Watch. Смотрите. Да ну ты. One card turns red. И вдруг одна карта превратилась в красного цвета. What was his card? Какая была у него карта? Валет, Валет крестовый. What was it? Какая была? It was... Валет крестовый. That card? Да. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I loved doing a show for them, making them smile, making them laugh. That was worth my flight halfway around the world. That one moment was all worth it. It's such an interesting place. It's such an interesting time. I mean, you see the park benches. You see the beautiful like park and the, the leaves uh, on these beautiful trees. And everything just looks so amazing. And you forget until you see things like this, that there is a war happening. Let me just remind everyone that it is uh, in the 30s. It's very cold. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. I love Ukraine.
woke up this morning at a it's a really nice place that they put us up in. It's uh, it was Karin's, uh, my friend Karin. It's his family, and they're from Armenia, but obviously live here in Ukraine. So I've been looking for someone to give away this motorcycle to. I've been looking for like the right person, someone who has like um, uh, an appreciation for the bike or knows how to ride a motorcycle. Of course, that's that's so uh, one of the major requirements. But also somebody that maybe needs transportation somebody that maybe doesn't have anything maybe somebody that uh is having a hard time i don't know but i wanted to give the motorcycle to someone that it was a it was a good fit for not just some random person i've got it and it's very obvious and uh we're about to make it happen So I get to this little town and they said, be careful, a lot of bombs here. And I got kind of nervous, like, oh man, there's bombs in the road. Like, yeah, we should, I should really be careful. And I was questioning them like, bombs in the road. They were like, yeah, bombs everywhere. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this is sketchy. And they could tell I was maybe not getting it. They said, yes, bombs everywhere, bombs. I said, bombs. And then they're, oh wait, maybe, maybe we're not saying it right. <laughs> bumps there's bumps in the road <laughs> И поэтому было очень здорово, что мы могли вместе прокатиться, проехаться. I love this country. Мне очень я полюбил вашу страну. And I love the people. И я полюбил людей в вашей стране. I heard God say to me a month ago that he wants me to come to Ukraine and ride motorcycle and film it. Я вот эта идея вообще пришла где-то месяц назад Господь проговорил ко мне вот об этой поездке, приехать сюда, купить этот мотоцикл и поездить на нём. And it was very clear that he said at the end of the trip give away the motorcycle. И очень чётко также я услышал, как Господь сказал, что в конце поездки этот мотоцикл кому-то благослови. I didn't know how I would be able to afford that, but I said, okay, God, I'll go, and then he provided. И я тогда ещё не знал, как всё, ну, получится финансы, смогу ли я по финансам всё это покрыть всю эту поездку. И я сказал, Господь, я поеду, ну, ты мой обеспечитель. I wanted to give you a gift so that we could be reminded all of us that grace is given freely and you don't have to earn it and you don't have to work for it. I bought this motorcycle. Я купил этот мотоцикл. I named it Grace. И назвал его Благодать. It's already paid for. Что за благодать уже оплачено. You just um, have to receive it. Нам просто нужно принять её. Мотоцикл и принять его. Радуйся, радуйся, как будто ты не знал. Так это мой уже мотоцикл? О, да. So he says so that means this bike is mine now? Yes. No. The grace is yours. My bike is mine. Моя благодать, Грейс. The bike is yours. Да, это твой. Name Grace. Name Grace. Кстати, я сразу хочу рассказать просто. Я когда-то, ну, я всегда хотел мотоцикл. He said I always wanted to own one bike. И буквально, ну, не знаю, может полгода назад, вот лето, все ездят на мотоциклах. Я постоянно пастору говорю, хочу мотоцикл, буду собирать там. About six months ago, last summer, I saw everybody riding their bikes, and I keep saying that, Lord, I believe that I will have one. I'll saving money for that. А пастор и байдак говорит что нет, нельзя мотоцикл. Но если Богу будет угодно, то ты его не купишь, тебе его просто подарят. And pastor, pastor and another brother, they told me, no, they don't like bikes. So they said, ah, you don't need bike. But if God is willing and God wants you to have one, you will get it for free. You don't have to pay for it. What? Yeah, that's the way. Six months ago. Yeah. So the, they said if God wanted him to have one, that he would provide it for free. Yeah. He wouldn't have to pay that, for it. Yep, exactly. He won't have to pay for it. Okay, there's uh, more to the story. Here's what I am learning now. 
Sergey Buffalo, his wife and his child left the country when the war started. He has not seen them in a long time. They are now in another part of Europe and uh, he's a young dude. His family is separated. He is stuck here. Uh, he is a, a warrior. He is fighting here for his country and uh, I love what he's doing, but I didn't realize that this guy was in real need um, of just some love. I wanted to find someone who needed the motorcycle and wanted a motorcycle. Я хотел найти кого-то, кто хотел мотоцикл и нуждался в мотоцикле. Somebody that knew how to ride a motorcycle. И, и конечно же, кого-то, кто знает, как ездить на таком мотоцикле. But I didn't know it was you. I didn't know your story. Но я не знал, что это будешь ты. Я не знал вообще о тебе, твою историю. Another thing that I found was interesting is when we were going to purchase the motorcycle, the man gave him a helmet. Интересно, что еще было подтверждение для меня, когда мы покупали мотоцикл, в конце этот парень шлем тебе подарил. И это было как бы еще одно подтверждение. A helmet with no motorcycle. Но иметь шлем без мотоцикла это. We had to solve that problem. All right, this is Buffalo. This is his new bike, Grace. <laughs> if you like these videos, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends. We're having a lot of fun over here on this channel. And there's a lot more adventure coming. <laughs>